Hey everyone, let's dye another guitar. This body has been finished sanded to 320 grit. I start with Angelus Leather Dyes Jet Black. I'll apply two coats to make sure the dye is completely applied and soaks into the wood evenly. I'm so incredibly fast and awesome at this that it looks like I sped up the video when I totally didn't. Yeah, didn't. I let the dye soak in and dry overnight. The next morning, I'll sand back the black with 320 grit abrasive paper. As much as I love to carve on these single cut bodies, I have to say that sanding the carve is a real bitch. Everyone hates sanding and anyone who says differently is a liar. <laughs> Seriously though, it sucks. Okay, glad that's done. On the flat surfaces of the guitar, you'd better believe I use a random orbital sander. Still 320 grit. I keep sanding until pretty much the only die left is in the deepest part of the grain. There's not a whole lot of flame on this body, so I'm careful not to sand through the die on what little bit there is. I leave the carve a little darker, and that's okay, because I'm going to burst this one. The outer edges will be blended into black. Back to hand sanding on the finer details. Stupid. Yay, more dyeing and more black Angelus leather dye. Using a piece of old t-shirt, I'll start with the burst and work my way around the carve. I'm careful to start on the inside of the body and pull the cloth across the top of the body to the outside. You never want to start on the outside and work your way in because the dye could possibly drip down the side and that would suck. Unless, of course, your customer comes back and says they prefer the look of an all-black body like on this body after I already dyed it. Dying a mahogany back is blasphemy. But the customer is always... annoying. Ha! Totally kidding. It looks pretty sweet. Oh look, I've talked too much. See all that blue? Yeah, that's Angelus as well. What you're seeing here is me actually using neutral dye to blend the blue and black. Same process, but I'll change the piece of cloth from time to time because blending it with the black will darken the cloth and over a bit of distance, you'll start to notice the body darkening. It's best to just keep changing out that cloth whenever you can. Once again, I'll let the dye dry overnight. As you can see, blue dye likes to turn purple, but with a little 4-0 steel wool, I sand the dye back ever so slightly to pick up the excess dye. It's still slightly purple, but that will clear up in the next step. Finally, time for sealer. I absolutely love Mohawk's Easy Vinyl Sealer. I start with a very light mist coat, and then I'll let it sit for about 30 minutes. I'll follow that up with two to three more coats applied progressively thicker until I'm happy with the coverage. I'll then let that sit for a couple days before I finish sand and get the body ready for clear coats. I really like the way this one is turning out. I hope you'll subscribe and tune in to watch this guitar on the rest of its journey. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. Please feel free to ask any questions in the comments. I do my best to answer them all.